Now to Black Friday. Many stores opened while Thanksgiving dinner was still in the oven. 140 million Americans said they may shop during the four-day holiday weekend. Sales this month and next are expected to hit nearly $617 billion, more than 4% higher than last year. Don Daler checked out the action at the malls. For some shoppers, the chaos of Black Friday has become a near obsession. It's going great. We got a lot of great deals. My friends and I usually stay up all night during the week before Thanksgiving and plan it out, scope it out, map out the stores that we need to go to. The demand for TVs was so intense, fights broke out at several stores around the country. For one hour beginning at 6 p.m. on Thursday, Target stores nationwide reported selling 1,800 TVs per minute. Electronics giant Best Buy slashed prices to compete. 50-inch Panasonic HD TVs are reduced from $549 to $199. But the discounts may not be enough to keep Best Buy in the black. Thank you. Last year, the fourth quarter sales grew an anemic 0.9%, while Amazon.com sales grew 22%. Retail analyst Chris Christopher. E-commerce retail sales is clearly outpacing the brick and mortars. Put it another way, the clicks are outpacing the bricks and it's gaining share every month the number is released or every quarter when e-commerce retail sales is released. According to the National Retail Federation, 56% of Americans will use computers or smartphones to shop this season, up 5% from last year, which means major retailers are going after those customers too. Both Walmart and Target saw record online sales Thursday. And Best Buy's online traffic has increased so much, their website crashed for an hour earlier today. Americans will have an additional $40 billion to spend this year, not because of an increase in wages. Those have remained flat over the past 30 years. Elaine, that extra cash is from lower fuel prices. Don Daler in Jersey City, New Jersey tonight. Thank you.